All hearing instruments consist of three basic components, a microphone, an amplifier, and a loudspeaker. The system is powered by a battery. The microphone picks up sounds from the surroundings. A hearing instrument may have one or two microphones. Two microphones make it possible to create a directional effect by comparing the two different signals coming from the microphones. This way, the instrument helps the user to decrease the noises coming from behind, which increases the comprehension of speech coming from the front. The main function of the amplifier is to amplify the incoming sounds so that they become meaningful to the user, but it also adapts the signal to fit the individual's hearing loss, hearing environment, and listening preferences. The amplifier is normally based on digital technology built in a microchip. The loudspeaker in hearing instruments, often called the receiver, sends the final amplified sound into the ear canal. The two most common types of hearing instruments in the market today are behind-the-ear instruments, also called BTEs, and custom instruments, which are molded to fit the individual user's ear canal. BTE instruments cover the widest range of hearing losses, are physically more stable, and fit most ears. That's why the majority of hearing instrument users have a BTE model. In a BTE instrument, the components are placed in the casing behind the outer ear. From here, the microchip processes the sound according to individual needs. The amplified sound is led from the hearing instrument to the ear canal through a small plastic tube. The tube is kept in place in the ear canal by an earpiece, which can be either a custom-made ear mold or a small dome. The BTE instruments are available in different sizes. As a rule of thumb, the larger versions can provide more power and cover more severe hearing losses. Additionally, the bigger BTEs have space for more functions, such as a push button for controlling volume and settings. The BTE models also come in a version where the receiver is moved outside the hearing instrument and into the earpiece. This means that the sound does not have to pass through the tube, but is delivered directly into the ear canal, just like in natural hearing. The solution is called receiver in the ear, or right. The right instruments usually give the best result for the user due to the naturalness of the sound experience. However, in some cases, if the user has very narrow ear canals or produces a lot of earwax or sweat, it will not be possible to use a right instrument. Different ear molds and domes are available for the BTE and right solutions. They range from tight, custom-made ear molds that take up a lot of space in the outer ear and ear canal to small standard domes, which almost disappear in the ear canal. Which earpiece you choose depends on the user's ear canal size and shape, as well as the hearing loss. The open dome allows air and sound to leak in and out of the ear canal. This means that the greater the hearing loss, the tighter the earpiece must be in the ear in order for the amplified sound to stay inside the ear canal. Clients with more significant hearing losses are typically fitted with closed ear molds, 
while clients with milder hearing losses can be fitted with open domes. In custom instruments, all components are modeled into a shell, which is made based on an impression of the specific ear. This type of hearing instrument sits directly in the ear. Therefore, it requires a sufficiently large ear canal. The discreteness of custom instruments will depend on the size of the ear canal because that is what determines how visible the device is in the outer ear. To make a custom instrument, you scan the ear impression in a special scanner that makes a digital copy of the impression. Afterwards, the modeling of the instrument is done in a computer application. Every hearing instrument component is placed inside the digital impression so that they fit in the specific ear canal. When the first modeling is done, unnecessary parts of the digital impression are removed and final adjustments are made. You can divide custom instruments into four main types based on how much space they fill out in the ear canal and outer ear. In general, the bigger the instrument, the bigger hearing loss it can compensate for, and the more features it can have. On the other hand, the smaller the instruments are, the more discreet they become. When making custom instruments, the aim will always be to provide the client with the smallest possible model, taking into consideration the size of their ear canal, their hearing loss, and their needs and wishes concerning functionality. The IIC sits deep in the ear canal and is practically invisible from the outside. The outside facing surface is usually black in order to blend in with the dark color of the ear canal opening. Cosmetically, the IIC is the most attractive custom instrument. However, since it sits so deep in the ear, it cannot have buttons for changing the programs or volume. And it is the custom instrument with the fewest features. Despite the small size, the IIC requires a relatively large ear canal to have space for all the components. About one-third of hearing instrument users will have an ear canal which is big enough to fit an IIC. The CIC sits only in the ear canal. This way, the instrument becomes almost unnoticeable. The trade-off with the CIC is that it has less room for advanced features compared to the bigger custom instruments. Only a small part of the ITC instrument is visible in the outer ear, and the main part sits in the ear canal. Because of the smaller size, the ITC fits less severe hearing losses and is more discreet than the bigger ITE. Depending on the size of the ear canal, there may be room for a push button for changing programs. The ITE instruments are relatively large instruments that fill out the ear canal and a significant part of the outer ear. Because of its size, this type of custom instrument can cover severe hearing losses and has high flexibility in terms of features. For example, the ITE may have room for functions such as a second microphone, push button for program change, volume wheel, etc. For most types of hearing loss, hearing instruments greatly improve the perception of sound and improve the client's ability to communicate with other people. However, hearing instruments cannot restore normal hearing. The amplified sound must still pass the damaged part of the hearing pathway on its way from the speaker to the brain. The damaged hearing imposes a number of restrictions on the perception of sound. The hearing instrument needs to present sounds in a way that the client can hear them, 
without being uncomfortable to listen to. At the same time, the hearing instrument provides a number of assisting functions. These include directionality and noise reduction, which are helpful, especially in difficult listening situations. However, they cannot bring the hearing back to normal. All hearing instruments consist of three basic components, the microphone, the amplifier, and the receiver. Today, the two most common types of hearing instruments are BTE instruments, which are placed behind the outer ear, and custom instruments, which are placed in the ear canal. With wireless technology, it is possible to connect hearing instruments with phones, TVs, or other sound devices. Thank you for taking this course.